Hello, my name is Jean-Luc Rousseau from Nantes in France. I'm one of the founder members of the IFM and I'm uh, happy to present uh, during this ASCO meeting the updated results of a very important randomized trial. So it's a randomized study on 646 patients with either relapsed or primary refractory multiple myeloma, comparing bortezomib alone or the combination of bortezomib plus pegylated liposomal doxorubicin, which is called doxin in the United States. So the results are the following. First, regarding the response rate, the response rate was 52% in the com combination arm versus 44% in the bortezomib alone arm, which is significantly different. But more importantly, the rate of complete remission plus very good partial remission was 30% in the combination arm versus 20% in the bortezomib alone arm. And the difference was very significant at 0.007. This translated into a significantly longer time to progression with a median time to progression of 9.3 months in the combination arm compared to 6.5 months in the bortezomib alone arm, which is, by the way, the median time to progression which was observed in the randomized APEX trial. So this is a benefit of 45%. And the final conclusion is about survival. Although the follow-up time is still short, only 14 months median follow-up, there is already a difference in favor of the combination arm with a survival at one year of 82% versus 75%. So it is the first randomized trial showing that the novel agent given in combination is superior to the same novel agent given alone. And this is also the first study showing the benefit of adding anthracycline to another treatment. So based on the interim analysis, the Food and Drug Administration has granted an approval for this combination in the treatment of relapsed multiple myeloma. Then we are waiting, of course, for the final analysis to submit the same application for the European authorities. And the question for the future will be, does bortezomib plus doxil be the standard of care for relapse patients? And for that, we need sub-analysis, which has been already performed and which show that the combination is superior to the single agent in almost all situations.